You are watching Linux Mint 13 XFCE Bootcamp, and in this episode, we're going to take our desktop effects even further. We are going to compile Emerald from source, since it is not available in the software repositories, and I'm also going to show you how to auto-start that fusion icon of yours. That way you can wobble your windows and wow your friends every time you turn on your computer. Hey, that's pretty cool, huh? We'll do that right after I roll the intro. Here I am wobbling my windows, and I just do not like these borders. So, I guess I'm going to have to compile Emerald. I'm going to delete this because I've got some steps we need to follow that I'm going to include in the show notes below. Alright, use pressing F12. I'm going to go ahead and open up my terminal here, and I have a cheat sheet as well. Let me move this cheat sheet down so we can read it. Alright. Now we're going to need to install all the necessary tools to build Emerald. So I'm going to right click and copy all of this. Right click and paste. It's going to ask for the password. Enter. I've already installed all these tools, so this will go by quickly. But the thing is, it will take a few minutes to uh, download all of these. Okay, next we're going to issue a command to change directory to downloads, and then we're going to pull this file off the internet and download it to that directory. So let's do that. Right click copy, right click paste. Okay, that wasn't a very large file. Okay, now we're going to need to extract this and then enter that directory. That is what this command is, tar-xf emerald. And what it's doing is when it extracts it, it's keeping the same directory structure, and then we're going to change directory into that folder. Okay, and you can see we are now in that directory as specified here. Let's go ahead and issue our first command for compiling. These commands are common in compiling a package. You will a lot of times run autogen. You may run make, make install, that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and do this now. This may take a moment to complete, or it could take a while. Depends on how fast your computer is. Some programs uh, compile quickly. Some programs take forever and a day. Of course, I have the benefit of time compression. I can always pause the video. Yay, that completed without any errors. Now let's go ahead and run Make Clean. Now we can make a make disk clean. All right, and then we'll run configure prefix equals user. Luckily, that completed without any errors, 
So now we can sudo make install. Now it has completed. Okay. Oh, wow, and I've still got my wobblies on here. I thought I had shut that off. <laughs> All right, well, we need to quit this for a moment and then restart it. We've got the Emerald Theme Manager available to us now. So we'll go ahead and click and open that. Now that we have the Emerald Themer open, you will notice we have no themes at all to work with. So what we need to do is we need to download one. Fortunately, I've already done that. You can go on any website, just do a Google search for Emerald Themes, and you will find a ton of web pages that have them. I'm just going to select Import. I'm going to go into my download folder, and I have an emerald theme here. I'm going to open that. Okay, and then I'm going to double-click this. Let's switch to window decorators here, because I want to make sure that this will load. Okay, it doesn't look like it wants to cooperate that way, so let's force it by pressing F12 to open up our terminal, and then we'll type in emerald. Replace. Two dashes. And there we are. Now we have Emerald Theme going on here. All right, and... <laughs> Quite an ugly looking border. But the thing is, we can tweak it now. And have it do whatever we want. So let's go into the... Oh, we're still there. Duh. Okay, and uh, we can adjust this theme to however we want it. Now, apparently it's missing some graphics and that sort of thing. Uh, I assume this is how it is supposed to look, and <laughs> quite ugly, actually. So we can go into the frame engine, and we can select a different frame engine for this if we want to. Let's see what True Glass will give us. Okay, so now we have some other options here. Ew, that's ugly. <laughs> All right, well, first things first, I hate this ugly outer border, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of all that. Um, well, not all of it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to this one. Let me see what my terminal's saying here. Gave me a segmentation fault. Huh. Isn't that fun?
Okay, I can deal with that. But at any rate, the possibilities are endless with the Emerald Themer. You can do so much with it. Um, I make all of my themes uh, for uh, my window borders. And basically, I just take a base theme. I edit the width. Um, and pretty much, I just sit here and uh, just tweak away until I get the desired look that I want. And uh, so basically, a simple base theme like this is all I need to build my own window borders. Just going into the settings. And tweaking them. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> I want the Emerald Theme Manager, not the Compass Config Settings Manager. Let's close this one here. So everything you need for setting up your theme here is all in here. You can use PixMac buttons. You have all these different little tweaks that you can apply, and there are a lot of them. You can adjust um, the border on the top, the sides. You can make these borders a lot thinner if you want to. You can adjust the title bar and make it appear as you want it to appear. Everything about your theme. I mean, this is a theme creation tool. Of course, you can also go on uh, compizlook.org and just download the theme that you want and import it. And uh, let me go ahead and pull up that website real quick. And you will see there are tons of them. We can just do a search for compiz. No, I'm sorry, emerald themes. And you will see there are tons of web pages that you can go to to download themes for this. Just download them to your downloads directory. And then you can just go into themes here and select import. And you can import the theme that you want. And then you can tweak those themes to your heart's content. Okay, and on a final note, let's go ahead and open up our preference manager here. Something I want to make you aware of, while you are running Compiz, you will not be able to make changes to the window manager or appearance. So you're going to need to temporarily disable that and select XFWM. Okay. Also, something you may want to consider for startup, session and startup here, if you want to run the Compiz Fusion at startup here, we want to select Application Auto Start, and let's see if it's even in this list. It isn't, so we're going to have to add that. And this is Fusion Icon. select OK. And now we have Fusion icon that will auto start. You can go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and put that to the test. I'm going to go ahead and log out. And then we'll log back in. And as you can see, it has auto started for us. A little slow to respond though, because I've limited the amount of resources that the virtual machine has, but it is working. And now we have super duper compizage. Okay, for the interest of everybody who has followed the compiz and emerald videos in this series, Please click the arrow above, the one that says get your cup of Linux here. That will take you to my channel. Okay, and then uh, under the featured tab, you will see uh, my most recent video playing, and then you will see a playlist listing. 
and you will want to have a look at the Compass Confusion playlist. And there I have a, let me see, that's uh, six parts that cover uh, Compass and Emerald. The next episode in this series will cover running Windows applications natively in Linux Mint 13 XFCE Edition. You definitely want to check that out. Mm-hmm.